All right, number six, this is the last one. We want to evaluate um, this piecewise function at different values. Um, the main thing you need to know is um, which function do you use? Okay, so you have to look at the restrictions over here. This one is less than or equal to negative four. This one is greater than negative four. So if I'm using negative four, then I need to use the one that's also equal to four. So it's gonna be this top one. All you have to do is plug in negative four and solve it, which this is really simple to do by hand, but I also want you to practice with the calculator and being able to get those piecewise functions in there. So I'm gonna go through that again, and we're gonna to go to the table, and the table will also show you the value, okay? So I'm going to y equal, I'm going to clear out everything that I have up here, and then I'm gonna put in the top equation, do it in parentheses, so I have three x plus one, close parentheses, divided by, and then I do my restriction. Open parentheses, x, second, and math to get those logic symbols or whatnot. And we're gonna go less than, equal to, and then negative four. And I close it. I'm going to go down to Y2 and input this function. Open parentheses, 2X divided by 3 minus 7. Close it. Divide it by, for my restriction, open parentheses, X greater than, so second math for test, greater than is number 3 negative four, and then close it. I can hit graph, I really don't need the graph, but I'm just gonna hit graph, you can see the picture as it uh, plots these two. Now you don't see everything, some of it's off screen, um, but it's plotted, it's done, you don't see any little dots up here, so it's done. If you go to second and graph, you'll see the table, which is what we really want. Um, I'm looking for value. So this first function is not defined um, below or above above uh, negative 4. So I say arrow up and go to the negative values because this one only is defined at negative 4 and below. So at negative 4, okay, you see how it's saying error. That means you don't get a y value on that graph. So only this first one, we get a value of negative 11. So I'll just put negative 11 here. And then the next one wants to know negative eight. Okay, so you also need to know that corresponds to this first one. So you can plug in a negative eight and solve it. Um, I've already inputted in my calculator, so I just need to go to negative eight. And I get negative 23. And then I want to know f of zero. So f of zero <coughs> is going to be um, using the second function. So I'm plugging a zero here, should get negative seven. Okay, but let's just go ahead and verify it. So when x is zero, I'm gonna go down to zero. So when x is zero, the second function is showing me negative seven. Okay. So you just plug it in and then you use the table to find your, your point value. 